Good evening, people. Watch him in 65, Lisa Boyce. Kevin came out fine. They got all the stones. He's doing good. He's got a stint, but uh, it comes out in a, about a week or two. So he came through fine. It took about an hour and everything. So we were, we were there. They took him in about 1030. I got a call and the doctor came down and talked to me about 12 and uh, we left the hospital at one something. So praise God, everything went well. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, especially according to some of these articles, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, encourage you, speak to you, minister to you, feed you the word, change you. He's your best friend. Again, Kevin is doing fine, so he's walking around and he's doing fine. I just got this off of uh, Hal Turner. Now, this is saying that a source within British intelligence, now this kind of goes in hand of what the video I did this morning, it says a source inside within British intelligence have confirmed personally that thousands of rounds of tank shells were shipped to Ukraine as supplies for donated Challenger tank tanks donated to Ukraine. So among those thousands of tank shells are depleted uranium shells. Russia has repeatedly and explicitly, this is why they're doing another threat. And like I said, this goes hand in hand with a video I did earlier this morning. This is why they're threatening again, right here. So Russia has repeatedly and explicitly made clear that if depleted uranium shells are fired at Russian troops, Russia will regard the use of the ammunition as being a dirty bomb. Now they have said that over and over again. So they will consider it a dirty bomb attack against them and will respond with radioactive weapons of its own. They did not say which <laughs> radioactive weapons, but they said they will respond with radioactive weapons. It is now positively confirmed that the United Kingdom has in fact successfully delivered into the possession of the Ukraine army depleted uranium tank shells. Let that sink in for a minute because like I said, this goes hand in hand with the video that I did this morning and I had no idea this was coming out about these uh, depleted uranium shells. I had no idea. But I did find it awfully odd that all of a sudden he's going to issue another warning to the U.S. after weeks go by without saying anything. 
What this means is, is that now it's only a matter of time before Russia detects that such shells have been used by Ukraine and respond. That response will likely come without any warning at all. That's what they're saying here. It goes on to say it's really quite simple. When Ukraine hits Russia, Russians with depleted uranium shells, Russia will likely hit Ukraine with a full-blown nuclear attack or full-blown nuclear weapons. If that takes place, NATO jumps in jumps into the war and it's a nuclear apocalypse immediately. Or or Russia may elect to strike at the UK directly for supplying such weapons. Obviously, if that happens, it's also instant nuclear war. In either case, the fight uh, presently between Ukraine and Russia will likely go nuclear. And it is extremely likely to involve NATO. Meaning the outbreak of a literal nuclear war, War Three is at any time, which we knew. We knew that. This can come at any time and, again, without warning. So he's got here a diagram of what a depleted, what is uh, depleted uranium. Depleted uranium is a byproduct of the process of making enriched uranium. Now, this is something that also Iran has. The technology isolates the uranium-235 needed for nuclear reactors and warheads and discards uranium-238. So, like I said, all the, he's looking at all this right now. And this is a little diagram of what it entails. Now, this also came out a few minutes ago. Very interesting that this also came out. So this came out as well. And it says, Ukrainian pilots have arrived in Arizona to begin flight training on F-16 fighter jets. Oh, really now? <laughs> yeah. They've arrived in Arizona to begin flight training on F-16 fighter jets. The decision to train Ukrainians in the F-16 was kept secret. According to this, even from Congress. From Congress. This is the single biggest escalation in U.S. efforts to harm Russia. This is serious. And he says on the bottom, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, the U.S. makes it worse. I agree. I will link this in the description box. I will link the other one in the description box. I don't know if you can get this one because I think this is for members only, but I'm going to link the other article in the description box that shows the um, the diagram of uh, depleted uranium. And if anything else comes up, I'll be back. But hopefully it won't come up until the time I go to bed because I'm very tired right now. And I will be back tomorrow. Thank you.